I'm Ken Brown. I'm speaking up aloud and loudly. Okay, it's the Quality Questionnaire, June Drapies, and welcome back to another episode of Up Aloud and Loudly. I have a special, special, special guest, the legendary Ken. What's going on? What's going on, Big How you doing, Big Doc? Chilling, man. Chilling. How you, man, so I met you. We were at a, I think it was a film festival. It was a film festival downtown Atlanta. Man, and you. We're just moving throughout the room like pimp. <laughs> like you're doing your thing. Yo. So what's going on, Ken? So you are an actor, right? Mm -hmm. Bro, first off, matter of fact, because I get ahead of myself, mm -hmm. tell me who is Ken Brown, bro? To explain to people who you are and what you do. Basically, man, I'm Ken Brown, man, from, you know, born and raised from Stone Mountain, Georgia. Mm -hmm. You know, honestly, man, you know, I'm just like everybody else, man. I have a past just like everybody else. You know, I would just say, man, I came a long way. Oh, you know, yeah? I came a long way. <laughs> I, mean, I came, really, right? came a long way, man, you know. So, you know, it's definitely, you know, um, humble beginnings, you know, right. like we talked about before. Right. Just humble beginnings right. and, and just, you know, learning the ropes on how I could be the best version of myself. Because one day, you know, I want to give that back. So basically, I would describe myself, man, as very humble. You know oh, what I'm saying? Word. Very humble. Um, okay, so while being humble mm -hmm. and an actor, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. How has, how has that journey been? Man, it's been fanatical, man. I enjoy it. Really? Oh, wow. <laughs> I enjoy it. Fanatical, all right. Oh, what's up? I enjoy every second doing it, man. It's mm -hmm. like it's something that, you know, when you're passionate in, it's something that you can't live without of, you know? Right, right. So definitely. Oh, man, so what, like, in... So in becoming an actor, how is that in Atlanta? Like, you know, you're starting off, you know what I'm saying, and trying to create your own buzz and all that stuff. So is that, do you feel that it's convoluted? Like, you know, there's a whole bunch of actors and actresses because this is the new Hollywood. Mm -hmm. Or do you feel like, you know what I'm saying, it's like the opportunity's wide open? Well, uh, honestly, man, it's it's everywhere you go, it's going to be competition. It's going to be convoluted, as you said, everywhere you go. Um, it's really um, it's really you. It all depends on you. It all depends on your passion, as we mentioned before. It all depends on your passion in your craft and whatever it is that you do. We are in Atlanta, and there's many opportunities here, but it's up to you to become the best version of yourself by striving, you know, by, you know, sometimes missing out on sleep because... The, the reason why we fail, man, the reason why a lot of us don't, you know, get to that point in our life, but the reason why we don't achieve our goals is because of the simple fact that, you know, a lot of us, we don't have a why, you know, right. we don't have that why. Right. And without that why, that's not going to give you the motivation to strive for your goals or your dreams or whatever it is that you want to fulfill in your life. What, when it comes to striving for success, you know what I'm saying, what are the... What are some of your roadblocks? So what do you think are some of the uh, pitfalls that a lot of people go through, especially starting out business? Do you think it's like, because you didn't get that role that you really wanted and you just, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you just take it. Like that. So. <laughs> You're funny, man. You're just a funny dude. Um, definitely, man. Um, but starting off, man, um, I would say the, the pitfalls, man, it's you. You know, Word. and it, That's it's true. you. No, no, I'm with you. I'm with you on it's that. You. <laughs> the reason, um, Big Dog, why I say that is because, uh, you know, when, for example, like I told you, you know, I go to classes Monday and Tuesday. Okay. When I go to acting training, class. acting classes okay. Monday and Tuesday. Mm -hmm. So I get trained by someone who's really good, but it's a psychological thing. Mm -hmm. It's more so than just memorizing lines and, and you know, just, just, you know, just being, you know, whatever character you're assigned to be. You know, it's you. It really starts off with you. And the oh. reason why I say that is because you might say, for example, you've probably been in front of a group of a lot of people, mm -hmm. but it's like, it's nerves. Yeah, the nerves. that's true. You gotta be, you gotta have it inside of you. I get you right. on that. So with all these, beyond being mm -hmm. yourself, what, what do you consider one of your biggest success mm -hmm. in, in the, on this path of being, becoming an actor or becoming the best person 
that you want to be? Like, what's what's one of the real big milestones that you hit? Well, honestly, uh, one of the big milestones I hit is that this is the youngest I'm going to be for the rest of my life, and <laughs> this is this is the this is it, you know. And and it's no do overs. And it's like once you get older, the biggest fear that a man has, any man will have, is regret. You know, so you can't, you know, fear is all, you know, fear is, is, is real, you know, but, you know, like fear is real, you know, but the emotion, the of, emotion it. of it, it's like suffering is a choice, you know, fear is real, danger is real, actually, I'm sorry, danger is real, I got you, but I got fear you. is a choice. Ah, you know? I'm with you, I'm with you. That, so, wow, well, and so... See, that's a, that's a deep, that's deep, that's very deep. I want to get into the fact that you're in a movie. Okay. A big movie. Okay. One of the milestone movies of, let's say, you know what I'm saying, I'll say this century. You know what I'm saying, we can okay. say that. We can say okay, that. century, okay, don't go that far. Okay. <laughs> that's a, I mean, because, I mean, but, I don't want to spoil it. Tell them what movie you in, y'all. Tell them. Okay. <laughs> you guys, I'm in Black Panther. Black Panther is, is gonna air in two more weeks, and yeah. everyone's excited for it. And that's crazy. That's definitely. crazy. So, with that being said, man, with that being said, like you got a chance to work with major actors, major actresses like uh, Angela Bassett, mm -hmm. Forrest Whitaker, and mm -hmm. all that stuff like that. What was your when you were in their presence? Right. Were they jerks or they seem like normal people? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> That's really what I want to know. I mean, were they jerks or like, son, I'm rich. I'll need you, you know what I'm saying? Or was it like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Hey, we see you. Right. You know what I mean? How right. was that? Honestly, man, you know, tell you the truth, they're people. You know, they're very humble. You know, they're very humble people. It's not what you think. You know, when, when you go on set, whether you're an extra or whether you have a role, right. you know, they're they're really on the same page. What I learned from them is they're on the same exact page as us. Everybody's trying to make it. Everybody's trying to strive to do whatever it is, or if you already made it, you know, you want to do more. You always want to continue to strive to be better. You know, so what I learned from being around Angela Bassett, what I learned from being around Chadwick Boseman, is that, you know, these are very humble people. You know, they're they're the same, they're on the same page, they're on the same road as us. And they're they're not necessarily trying to, you know, compare themselves and what they've done to what we've done you know because that's easy to do you know right, but what right. they do is the reason why you know they're so iconic in our society is because what they do is they look at you you know and they see you as somebody on the same wavelength but what they do is they give you the knowledge you know that was given to them you know for them to be where they are today oh. and so basically the knowledge that they give you is they basically tell you that it's doable you know, it's doable, it's, it's, it's plausible and possible mm. to get out here and to accomplish what they accommodated for. Wow. So it's that simple, and, and they're That's very humble people. Oh, so you, ever, you get a chance to do it, like, I know, like, uh, close encounter, one-on-one -on -one setting? Mm -hmm. with, with, really? I did with, uh, in fact, with Chad Bozeman. Very, very cool dude, very Word. great guy. Um, couldn't be around him that long because we had to stay focused, True. you know, but he's a very cool guy. He's a very cool dude, very humble. Um, he, he, matter of fact, he wanted to do it. He wanted to talk. He wanted to. Really? He, it was, he wanted he, to engage. He wanted to engage with the extras and the people who were alchemated with the film because he knows what it's like. He's been there before, you know. Yeah. So this is it's a very humbling experience for all cylinders of the production. Wow, man, wow. Now, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy. So what scene you are you in? So people, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Because people got to, you know what I'm saying? Because they got to look out. They got to be like, oh, I thought I knew. <laughs> like, Definitely, man. So you were you were in a major scene? or? Uh, I would say it's the rising climax. Okay. It's uh, the okay. rising climax um, before it gets to the, the full head heart of the film. Right. Um. I'm definitely in the scene in, in the village. Oh, okay. I'm in the All right, cool. Scene. So we're going to look for you in the village. In I don't want to spoil anything. I know, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's dope, bro. That's dope. Okay, man. Yo, I really, really, really appreciated you, man, coming out here, you know what I'm saying, telling all the stuff. As a matter of fact, you know, I, I want to I ask you, you know what I'm saying, one more thing. Like, what do you think is very important to learn, like, 
being on a big set like that, mm -hmm. what do you think is per what's important to learn to try to get to a, a, a better position or, you know what I'm saying, a, a, a very more notable position at your stage, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Is there, like, I guess, what, you know what I'm saying, what advice would you give to people like that's even starting off like you? Mm -hmm. um, just uh, all I have to say is just keep trying. You know, keep getting out there, keep submitting, you know, keep, you know, going to every, every, I don't care, gathering, party that involves actors, models, just whatever. Classes as well? Classes as well. Wow. Because evidently, I didn't tell you, but some other people who were in the same class as me yeah. were at the event that I met you at. Oh, right. So it just, it, it's just like the world is a small place. Right. So the more that your 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 face is out there, the more that people will see that familiar face, and then the more they're gonna want to get that familiar face acquitted to whatever it is that they have going on. So just get out there. That's the main thing. And two, just be just be relentless. Don't right. give up. Pursue whatever it is that you want. This is what you want. Go hard at it. Because again, this is the youngest you're going to be for the rest of your life. That's true. That's a good philosophy. You read that in the book, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I really appreciate you coming out. I got two more questions for you. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Now I'll let you go, bro. So check this out. One, how do people contact you, bro? You know what I'm saying? How do you, you know, if people want to be like, yo, man, I want to, you know, work with this guy. Mm -hmm. I want to chill with him. He seems like he know what he's doing. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? How can they reach you? So definitely, you can reach me to uh, social media, uh, legendary underscore Ken with two N's at the end of the K and the E. Um, you can follow me on Instagram. Same thing, legendary underscore Ken with two N's at the end. And uh, that's pretty much it. Um, you got like a thousand followers. <laughs> oh, no, my bad. Over. Over a thousand, like close to a million and stuff like that. <laughs> God dang. All right, and the last mm -hmm. question, man. If you mm -hmm. saw yourself, let me say, eight years ago, okay. you ran into yourself eight years ago, mm -hmm. what would you tell yourself? I would definitely tell myself that, you know, the future is bright. You know, all you have to do is just you know, have faith, um, keep God first, and, you know, all else will follow, and you'll get to where you're meant to be. Yo, I really, really appreciate you. Thank you very much, man. God dang. The legendary Ken <laughs> on Up Aloud, Mama. This is the only spot where you get a quality question. Damn good at it. Ask him. <laughs> Yo, peep this. Here's what I want y'all to do. Subscribe below, above, left, right, whatever. Up Aloud and Loudly. Go check us out on the website. Up Aloud and, not the ampersand, A-N-D, loudly.com. Go check that out. Check out Legendary Ken. Watch this, man. When he comes to the next Denzel Washington, Up Aloud, Loudly, God first. Thank you. <laughs>